I'm Sandra Diavilar, the instructional leader at PS9 here in Prospect Heights. Here at PS9, we are a diverse school. We are child-centered and we are a family. I love PS9. I go to school at PS9. I am in fifth grade at PS9. My teacher's name is Miss St. Arch. I am in fifth grade in PS9. I'm in first grade. We are a social studies driven school and what does it mean? It simply means that we use social studies as the vehicle to push all and to intertwine all of our subjects. All right, so it is time to open our 2011 Double IM Museum, New York City, then and now. We're learning about New York City right now and they were really interested in just like the history and how New York City used to be. Um, and so we actually just had a museum opening with these projects that they did like, which really kind of traced the history of fashion and toys. And so they're really, um, they're interested and their minds are open to learn anything all the time. We see where children are um, evolving just as much as our world is evolving and we have to keep up with what they need to be able to compete in this 21st century. For the science fair, we had to um, do a science experiment and put it all on poster board, what we did and the procedure and what um, in our hypothesis. I think what is very important for me is that every morning I see Casper being very enthusiastic about coming yeah. to school here. He's always very happy and smiling and I get it. Yeah. I, I like that. He comes home and says, says, Dad, I went to the science center today and this is what I did in the science center. And he's really motivated by it. He's really he's excited. very engaged. In terms of PS9 being a traditional school versus a progressive school, I would say we are more on the progressive side. We have a lot of professional development. We um, are a teacher's college school. Uh, one of the in-house professional development workshops we've had is um, involving our partnership with the studio and the school. You can work with different people like you did here. The same yeah. way you did over there. Because I think that was a very good idea. We have wonderful, wonderful cultural institutions right next door to us and we utilize them um, to help you know, bring a better um, education to our children. Child-centered focus basically stems from giving our children a voice more than ever. W. w Absolutely. W. Seeing our teachers as facilitators, but really, really having our children take control of what's occurring in the classroom. We're figuring out what names that we want to call, like the, the hermit crabs, and one is this is the biggest, and the biggest way we might call Spikey. What I like about PS9 is that PS9 is a, is a beautiful community, family oriented school. I like that at PS9, you never feel left out, that everyone acts like your family. It encouraged curiosity. It also encourages independence. Now I want to write my own book. And confidence more than ever. I learned how to read at PS9. What I like about PS9 is um, the fact that it's very family oriented. The, um, the teachers are very nurturing, the, the kids are friendly. I feel happy all the time. Here at PS9 we have the Renzulli um, enrichment model. And what he basically teaches us is that there's giftedness, and talent in every single child, and we really tap those talents. What I like about the model of learning is that all kids are different. So all kids are on different levels, and Ms. Diavola and the teachers know this. So they don't push too hard, but they don't leave the kids back who need the extra help. So even though all the kids are on a different level, they all get what they need. If we have a problem, we just talk it out, 
and then we get, we get to understand the problem. Well, PS9 helped me learn English by um, telling the ASL teacher to pick me up daily, and that really helped. I have two sons. They are twin boys. Then they are in the kindergarten. They're doing the ESL, so yeah. it's good for, I think, my sons. I feel that the faculty focus on the whole child. It's not a skill and drill school. I feel like every area of my son's development is being touched on. I learned math in PS9. I can count to 110. I like to learn about reading. I absolutely love pre-K because it's the beginning of a child's be launch at school. And having them come in and be excited about learning and have a really great year is just such a great springboard for the rest of their education. My overall method of teaching special ed kindergarten is basically multiple intelligences. I truly believe that each child can learn. They just learn at um, different speeds, different ways. We give authentic instruction on a daily basis. We use the arts, we use music, dance to help us educate our children with a very, very strong basis in social studies and science. The double IM method is the independent investigation method and that is where the children become responsible for their own learning. I don't want to intrude on their creativity. So if they have an idea and they want to do it, I say go for it, do it. If you need help, I'm here for you. Um, believe that parents um, are instrumental. The homeschool connection is what makes education work. Each and every year the parent involvement becomes more and more. Um, it's growing like wildfire throughout the entire building and um, our parents are very, very involved. I'm very happy to be here, uh, you know, involved as a parent, working with the uh, PS9 staff uh, and the parents, the other parents here at the school. It's a very good uh, community. Parents can come in whenever they want to. They could do a pop-up visit just to kind of see like how their kids are doing or what's actually going on in the classroom. One of the most important things is that it's only seven minutes from my house, so I can be here whenever I need to. We have parents that assist us with trips, uh, parents that may come in to share their culture or cook with the class, different things that come up throughout the year, the parents let me know. I really enjoy the fact that the, the school is a very embracing of the parents in being involved with the teachers, with the faculty, with the staff, and that really pleases me. We're the heart of Prospect Heights, and we definitely like to keep the heart going, to keep the heart healthy. We see PS9 now as a melting pot where various cultures come together and create a very fine fabric here within our school. There are kids from Argentina, there are kids from Poland, there, there are kids from Holland, from Nigeria, so it's, I think it just makes it much more interesting and, um, um, and it just makes his awareness of other cultures in the world. There are so many children from the neighborhood who come here now he gets playdates with his same peers. He goes to the Underhill Playground. There they are, you know, half his class. He does the after school sometimes with other people in the school. So it really is a community that starts as school but that extends. We're a living, breathing, you know, um, wonderful place to nurture children. It's great to be on vacation, but if I had any place that I had to stop vacation and go back to work, this is the place I'd want to be, and this is what I'd want to be doing. If you send your child to PS9, you're getting a private school education in a public school in your neighborhood. I usually go into dramatic play, and I pretend I'm a fighter fighter, and a construction build, a construction builder, and I sometimes pretend I'm in high school. Basically allowing children to take control, to go see themselves as researchers, okay, what do I want to learn about, have them explore online on our Renzuli learning system. It's just basically um, allowing children to see themselves as leaders and creating the leader from within. I would tell future parents um, to send their kids to PS9 because 
It's just amazing that we'll prepare your children um, for middle school. They have wonderful teachers, um, an amazing principal who will care about your kids, will care about your kids' education. I'm proud of the work that I do at PS9. <laughs> when, when I grow up, I want to be a basketball player or a doctor. When I grow up, I would like to be an actor. When I grow up, I would like to be a marine biologist. As educators, and especially the educators here, we don't just teach reading, writing, math. We teach the whole child. We teach, you know, how to be a good person. I want to be a teacher because I like my teachers at PS9. Basically, a PS9 student is a student who is extremely confident, knowledgeable, and um, will stop at nothing to be educated. Look, if the parents are there, they're committed to it. The leadership's there, they're committed to it. Now it's on us as parents to support our community. It's, a, it's, a, it's on us on parents to you know, be committed, to do what we can do to make our community, thus our school, a much better place um, in the future. And that only happens you know, through real commitment. And it can't happen just at the school level, just at the principal level, just at the teacher level. It has to happen at the parent level as well. And you, know, you definitely see that at, at PS9. PS9, we go to PS9. PS9, we go to PS9. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it's fine. Learning and playing down at PS9.